possible okay now let's talk about the ion exchange chromatography so what is the ion exchange chromatography as the name suggests the ion exchange chromatography is everything to do with the ionic compounds so what we have again in this case we have mobile phase and we have analytes and in the stationary phase we have this so the analytes which is dissolved in mobile phase analytes are negatively charged for example so they are anions in this case and in, in the stationary phase we have lots of positively charged residues are out uh, attached to the stationary phase okay. so stationary phase we need to choose the stationary phase uh, for the ion exchange chromatography which have to have different ionic concentrations in this case they contain the positively charged ions or the cations so we have lots of cations in the surface and we have analytes which are anions so the anions are attracted towards the cations and the mobile phase can run off really fast so the anions or the analytes have a tendency to attach with this cationic portions so they elute last and the mobile phase is used really faster so as a result of all this thing and it finally it finally ends with the separation of anion molecules from the cation molecules so if we have other molecules uh, which are cations they cannot be attracted by the st stationary phase molecules so they f they elute really faster okay so by using it but in all these cases in this ion exchange chromatography the separation in this all the separation purposes remember these things very carefully we have to choose the stationary phase molecule and the mobile phase molecule really carefully because in this case we need to choose the stationary phase molecule attached to the positively charged residues unless uh, this we cannot separate the anion factors so in this case it is called the anion exchange chromatography or the stationary phase molecule is called the anion exchange resin because they are designed or programmed to take on only the anion take on the anionic molecules not the cationic molecules that's why they call the anion exchange chromatography on the other hand we can have the cation exchange chromatography in those cases the stationary phase molecules are designed to take only the cations